So, dear participants, dear Secretary General Costas Bayinetas, dear organizers of this conference, First of all, allow me to thank you for the invitation. I would also like to congratulate you for putting together such a conference. I would like to spend a couple of seconds in order to highlight the importance of organizing such conferences. They are important because we get to listen to very interesting things during the conference. Another important factor, however, is the fact that we are getting together. This is the most important thing that we need. Networking means that all stakeholders, all parties concerned can get together, can get to know each other. And we know that it is in the, during the breaks that the serious job is done during those conferences. So we find ourselves here in the plain of Thessaly. The Deputy Minister Christos Triadopoulos, who was here this morning, I would like to say a few things. He is a child of Thessaly and he is uh, the person who stands by us in times where climate change and financial crisis have set their own terms and conditions. Christos has been standing next to us. I would like to thank him for this contribution of his. So, here we are, in the plain of Thessaly. Okay, so, I know that Magnesia is not on the map, but this does not mean that it's not part of Thessaly. Here you can see we have a concentration of 10% of the agricultural production of the country, where 5 million streamers are being farmed. I believe that this is very indicative of the significance and the importance of the region. The climate, uh, the soil, the human resources enable the production of top quality products. Those primary sector products are being processed and thanks to the invention, ingenuity and skills of the human resources can become products of high nutritional value, products that have a special place in the market. And I'm not only talking about the domestic market, I'm also talking about the international market. I see Michaelis Sarandis and his company does that precisely. He takes primary sector products, processes them, turns them into superfoods, and they have a reclaimed position in the international and national market. I see at the back Mr. Takis Dimas, similar case, and many, many more businessmen who do that here in the plain of Thessaly. Uh, the Ministry of Rural Development are in excellent terms, in excellent collaboration with the region of Thessaly. We try to do the best uh, with Costa Agoras, the head of the region. Local administration holds a very special role in this effort. It is here that those high nutritional value products uh, are characterized by the land, the culture and its tradition. And this means that this is a very strong nutritional legacy, a legacy of top quality. So what do we need? Where are we standing today? We find ourselves at a time where we need to make the most out of the skills and the possibilities offered by the scientific community. We had so many researchers, members of the academia, we see what they need in order not to left all this knowledge aside. We carry out research in order to boost entrepreneurship. It's the motor engine to boost the next business step. It is what will give an idea and will go a step further, will document and justify the outcome, will provide an evidence-based identity and we know that the scientific uh, community will add a specific identified quality. And this is so what 
our business community needs in the primary sector. We need to know that those projects encompass specific quality features, specific characteristics, because those are the things that give added value. They provide longevity, they provide well-being. This is what we offer. Having consumers consuming products that are good for their life, for their health, that's of paramount importance. So the identity of the product is of paramount importance for its value and its commercial cause. And this brings us to the production. What are we looking for? Okay, we have some weapons that are invaluable. Precision farming. Precision farming is a valuable tool in order to develop a new production model. What we need, especially in those times where climate crisis, climate change has brought forward its own terms and conditions, in order to capitalize on the performance using the environmental aggravation and environmental impact parameters. Okay, we have numerous weapons in our arsenal. Precision farming is one of them. And this brings us to the magic word, synergies. On the one hand, we have producers, farmers, the production process in the agri-food sector. On the other hand, we have the processes standing by them. They are both Businessmen, we should not forget that the primary sector is a business sector. So, they're both business persons. They create synergies. They, they, those synergies are supported by the government, by the academia, with a view to what? To ensure three things. First of all, reduce the production costs. Secondly, to reduce the energy and water needs and the third goal is to be able to produce products of top quality of the best quality that we can so that's the mathematical equation you might think it's complicated but it's not this is what brings about the multiple benefits financial benefits for the business benefits for the consumers because they consume the best quality product they can get which are beneficial for their health they can offer them longevity and the third benefit is the environment and we talk about environmental benefit to the benefit of the planet and the people and to the new national strategy of our ministry focusing on the agri-food sector focuses on specific five points innovation the green era digital transformation, openness, and the sustainability of our national agricultural system. So, it is an effort that takes effort across all the stakeholders. We talk about a quadruple helix. It is a joint effort and Allow me to say that the Chambers play a pivotal role in this trip. Because the okay, entrepreneurship and business persons are the ones that are the critical link in the agricultural economy chain. And I'm really looking forward to listening to what uh, the presidents of the Chambers have to share with us today. Allow me to give some food for thought and discussion. We have agri-marketing and how decisive its role might be for the development of the agri-food agri sector. The third has to do with financing, the financing tools. Recently, the Minister for Rural Development and Food, Spilius Livanos, announced the creation of this special fund so as to provide microcredits and uh, I'm talking about microcredits with beneficial terms uh, with, uh, without the need of guarantees uh, without uh, too much red tape procedures in a way that will offer specific interest rate subsidy for the in order to support farmers when paying back uh, their loan this stems out from a need that has been highlighted by the chambers so 
it's good that you're able to pinpoint what we need to pursue and to the new digital era synergies is a key word so we rally our voice our forces we collaborate and by we i talk about the representatives of the quadruple helix a helix that is created by the human hands i'm talking about the state the local administration the private sector meaning uh, the chambers uh, and uh, private, privately owned companies and businesses and of course the scientific and research community along with civil society. And with those few words and with uh, many more special thanks for this invitation, I would like to thank you for your attention. I'm looking forward to listening to the representatives of the chambers and I'm looking forward to seeing the conclusions of this conference. Thank you very much.